there are three stages of forming a connection with someone. Number one is where we share the public self. The public self is how we act with complete strangers. So when I go pick up my cup of coffee at Starbucks, it's the hi, how are you I give to the barista where I'm not really expecting her to respond to me seriously. This is also where we tend to follow norms and do things that are expected of us. So it's very infrequent that I will go to Starbucks and order that coffee shirtless because it might upset somebody. The next stage of sharing ourselves is where we share the private self. So this is where we move from stranger to acquaintance. This is where you start to befriend someone. You start sharing your attitudes and thoughts and beliefs about the world and how you view the world. You start to open up to someone and they start to open up to you. This is where you start to really figure out what they're about, what their story is, and you get a sense for who they really are. The next stage of forming a connection with somebody is when we share the inner self. The inner self is who we really are, where you hold all your deepest fears and insecurities and your biggest dreams for what you wanna accomplish in this world, the experiences that have had a serious impact in who you are or why you live the way that you do. They're the things that make us fundamentally who we are. Authentic communication is built on honest self-disclosure. So the more friendships that you have that get down to the inner self, the easier life is gonna be and the more connected you're gonna feel to the people around you. So if we know that the best, most authentic connections occur when we share our inner selves, then why aren't we doing that? Because the more that we open up and show people who we really are, the more that we're vulnerable and risk being seen, the more that we also risk being hurt. We risk being rejected and that's scary. No one wants to be hurt. No one wants to be rejected. I don't blame you for caring what other people think about you. But the reality is the real cost is not opening up and being hurt because it happens way less than we think it will. And when it does happen, it's not gonna end you. But you know what is damaging permanently? Not showing up authentically as who you are. Being afraid that if you're not perfect, that you're not gonna be accepted. Jumping through hoops, trying to be perfect and just fly under the radar and be seen positively by others. Because when we care that much about how other people view us, we're not being honest with ourselves about who we are. We're constantly living through the world wearing different masks and it is exhausting to live that way. Believe me, I know. I experienced a lot of trauma when I was younger and it led me to shut down. It led me to over intellectualize everything so I never had to process or feel my feelings. And while that was great and fine and amazing and it kept me from being hurt a lot of times in life after then, it also kept me from joy and love and feeling accepted and being able to take compliments and being proud of myself because when we aren't showing up in the world as we are authentically, we are sacrificing that much joy proportionately to the amount of risk that we think we're offsetting. That's no way to live. I got stuck here. I'm trying to get to there. That's why the channel is called Inner Core Ari. This is my journey to learning how to be happy and how to be joyful and accept the things that have happened to me, start to view them only as experiences and not let them control my future or keep me from all the amazing things that are in store if I can learn how to just integrate the things that I've been through. And that's really what I want for you. It's great to be here and show up every week and have a community around me, have an audience of people who are willing to cheer me on and support that self-development journey. But I wanna help you do the same thing and I wanna see all of you be happy and joyful as well. I want all of us to make meaningful connections, but the reality is that the only way that we're gonna do that is if we're willing to bear our souls and show the world our inner cores and who we really are. And you can't do that if you can't first be honest about it with yourself. So, thank you for being here. 
but please do one thing this week that'll get you a little closer to your inner core and let me know. Come down in the comments below and uh, let me know what you tried this week, whether it was talking to a friend about something you've experienced or writing a letter to, I don't know, your younger self or something like that. Do something this week that helps you show up into the world and be a little bit more of who you really are as opposed to what the world expects you to be. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week.